forgot to do an intro for this video, so I'm just going to do it now. This is my immediate raw reaction to episode five, Blood Cause Blood. Uh, and I will begin it here. This video, I don't think, will contain any spoilers beyond Eye of the World, the book, and of course, this episode, because I haven't seen anything beyond this episode. So let's get into it. Let's be nerdy. Let's be nerdy. Let's be nerdy. Let's be nerdy. Okay. Blood calls blood. Uh, <laughs> there were moments. There were moments in this episode that I, I enjoyed. This, I have to say, I, my immediate raw reaction right after the episode, the weakest one for me. Um, it, it felt choppy, uh, jumping between things. Um, understandably, but it, it just felt choppy. Uh, it definitely feels like an interlude. Like, I don't think in the the trajectory of the whole season that it will be, it will feel as, ah, I don't know. This is the weakest episode for me. Um, a lot of things felt kind of shoehorned. I'm trying to think of words because it's, uh, it's hard to do that without having, like, literally, I just hit pause and I'm talking now uh, on the video after it uh, aired. Um, I had seen, uh, some stills of Loyal prior to this and was holding off on saying anything because I was hoping, uh, that seeing him in motion would be better. And it is, it is because the actor is like, he's doing a really, really good Loyal. The actor is really, really good. His voice is perfect. The, his mannerisms, his slow way of speaking, the way he just keeps talking when people other people talk that is very very loyal not a fan of the look of loyal i uh the hair is weird i know that they're trying to make it practical so they're not like you know having to constantly on a person's face that you have to be looking at and watching them speak you don't want to be adding a lot of cgi to that because it will make him look uncanny so i enjoy i, I like the fact that it's all practical i just don't like particularly what the practical looks like uh maybe i'll get used to it though um stuff like that you know you just get used to it and it'll be okay but I, he's doing such a good job it makes me kind of ugh, i i wish i liked the way he looked better um and yeah i okay so i i'm horrible with my all of my predictions i assumed that i had predicted that uh, the land screaming thing would be um, Moraine's grief over Karini and then Lan uh, feeling her grief. It was the opposite. And I really, actually, I can't, I really liked what she was doing with, like, what Rosamund Pike was doing. Like, you could see it. Uh, if you weren't aware, somehow, <laughs> if you were watching this episode and weren't aware of the way the water bond works, you could literally you could literally see it, um, in, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry, this is the weirdest thing that just happened, uh, I record this on my phone, and I forgot to turn on do not disturb, and I just saw a, t <laughs> a Twitter alert come on my phone from the Wheel of Time Twitter account with my name on it, <laughs> so the Wheel of Time Twitter account has, uh, tweeted me, ooh, <laughs> they were tweeting me about getting loyal trending, um, I mean, I love Loyal. I just don't like how he looks. <laughs> is, uh, but okay. Um, yeah. Sorry, that was just a very weird thing to happen. While like I'm looking at my phone to record this and, <laughs> and seeing my name come up in a tweet. Uh, so, yeah. Um, anyway. <laughs> uh, that was odd. Okay. Um, Oh, oh, I was saying Rosamund Pike, uh, the way she was showing the fact that she was feeling Lance's grief was amazing. Like, that was some good, I don't know, me uh, acting terms. I was about to say medical terms. That's insane. Act Like, she was doing really good face acting there. Like, it was, I could see what was happening. I could see the reflection of the bond and the grief there. I prefer my theory. I think it was 
better than this. <laughs> just, uh, this felt overdone. Um, yeah. I, like, and there were a lot of things that were put in here. Um, there were a lot of things that were put in here that, that didn't feel like they had enough explanation. Like why, why was Lan the one to express the grief of the waters? I didn't get the impression from the episodes up until now as to them being particularly close. Like I didn't feel that. So I didn't know why that was it. Why does Valda think that Egwene can channel? Like there's no, there was no reason for him to think that. I can, I got why he pulled them out of the, the Tuathan because he had seen them before. But I don't know why he had this assumption that Egwene could channel. That made no sense at all. Like, I, why does he think this? Uh, he's, he's still chewing the scenery up. He's still really, really good. I'm assuming that Egwene didn't kill him with the knife. I'm assuming he's going to survive that somehow. Because uh, he's just doing really good. It would kind of suck if he died. Like, I mean... <laughs> I don't, I don't like Valda. I don't want to say that, but I like him as a villain. He's a really, really good villain. And so it would kind of suck to lose him this early. Uh, Perrin's eyes turning yellow in, in moments of rage. I think that's a really smart idea for the show. Uh, Cause then it doesn't have to, they don't have to be yellow all the time. Uh, so they could just have, I mean, maybe they will be yellow all the time. I don't know. Uh, but I, I can understand if they don't have his eyes being golden constantly, I can understand why they would do that because just for effects purposes and stuff and having him not look human, <laughs> like it's, you can, you can, uh, skip that maybe. Um, I'm, ha I'm having trouble thinking of things to talk about. This episode feels very, it's obviously an interlude. Like it's very obviously an interlude between massive thing that happened and then, I'm assuming something that's going to happen in the next episode. This is the get everybody together. Uh, yeah. I mean, I need barely featured. Oh, she was in it. She barely featured. Oh, there was that scene. Uh, okay, the scene between Moraine and Nynaeve. I I liked that. I One of the things, my favorite scenes in uh, Eye of the World, because it's not just because it's a Nynaeve uh, scene, but it because I think it is, one of the first revealing scenes that we get between uh, Nynaeve, or about Nynaeve. I'm going to try and keep this to, to just Eye of the World as always, but uh, the scene where Ni uh, Moraine reveals to Nynaeve that she can channel, and you see the vulnerability in Nynaeve because she feels exposed. Having Moraine have that conversation with her, again, though, part of my brain during that scene was like, it's been a month. Seriously, you haven't talked about this for a month? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> but, uh, okay, having that, seeing that scene, um, it felt like a replacement for that scene. And I could, you could see on Nynaeve's face what I, in that scene, when I read it in Eye of the World, what I feel that Nynaeve is feeling during that moment of just, I feel naked and exposed and I want to hide, but I can't. That's that feeling that I, I see on her face in that moment. Um, yeah. Uh, so I liked, I liked that, except for the fact that I don't understand why it's happening now. I mean, I know technically why it's happening now, but it just feels very weird that, yeah, no, you waited a month to have this conversation. <laughs> it's odd. Uh, yeah. Um, oh, and the breakbone fever story. I guess they're going with uh, it being Nynaeve's first channeling experience in the cave as opposed to the breakbone fever. So they're making that more of an Egwene moment, surviving breakbone fever, than a Nynaeve healed her moment. Fine. I do... Mm, I, I might talk... Well, no. I, I, I like the idea of Nynaeve's first healing not having been because of a man that she was in love with. I don't, I just, I find romance, at, like, love of a man as the motivation uh, for her awesomeness to be a little, mm, I'd rather it just be, she wants to heal. Uh, but, but, I understand, like, eh, it, it, this episode is not the greatest. <laughs> this episode is not the greatest. Um, I will watch it again. <laughs> I always do. <laughs> I always do. Uh, but yeah, this is my 
raw reaction. I am going to end this here. Um, so, uh, yeah, uh, please like, <laughs> subscribe, and uh, I will see you next time. Bye. <laughs>